All right then, so welcome to the final section of this paper, which is psychopathology, and we're going to jump straight in with question 17 and 18. Question 17 is a multiple choice question, which won't take us very long to go through, so we're going to do two questions in one in this video. So question number 17 is, which two of the following are cognitive characteristics of OCD? Okay, so cognitive characteristics are thought-based characteristics and we have two main ones here we have awareness that the behavior is irrational that is a very big cognitive characteristic of ocd and then you have the obsessions as well which are the intrusive thoughts okay both are cognitive characteristics of ocd and those are the two answers for this question okay moving swiftly on to number 18 okay so this is a six marker this is a long answer question and it is outline one or more ways in which behaviorists treat phobias okay now this is not a trick question you can get the full six marks if you only outline one way in which behaviorists treat phobias and it's not a problem to do that OK, this will be left up to everybody individually. It will depend on how much you feel like you can write for the two ways that you know for treating phobias. OK, so your choices are systematic desensitization and flooding. OK, both of them, you could get six marks if you, you could get six marks for just writing about either of them. Um, however, if you do that, you're going to need to put in a little bit more detail, and that detail is going to include things like keywords that the behaviorists might use um, to describe the procedure of these treatments. Okay, If you feel like you haven't got that much detail in your mind, or maybe you don't know as many keywords, then maybe the way for you is to do two of them and just do three marks on either. Okay. Either way is fine. The full marks are still going to be available to you if you decide to do it that way. Like I said, it's up to everybody individually. Okay, I'm going to talk about one, and that's going to be systematic desensitization, because there's quite a lot to say for it, and there are also quite a lot of keywords that you can get in as well. Okay, so this is what my answer is going to look like. So let's go through it. First off, we have our little introduction of systematic desensitization, which is just a sentence about what it is. Okay, so it is a method of gradual exposure and it works by unlearning the phobic response and replacing it with a new response. Okay, and that is done through counter conditioning. Okay, so counter conditioning is our first key word in there, and you've already got a little bit of detail in that first kind of little paragraph where it just simply explains what systematic desensitization is. Okay, so then moving on, we have our three steps or our three stages of systematic desensitization. So our first one is the production of an anxiety hierarchy. Moving on. The second bit of systematic desensitization is the teaching of relaxation techniques. Okay, give a couple of examples of what they might be, like mindfulness, meditation, breathing techniques, whatever. It doesn't matter what your examples are as long as you have a couple. Okay, this is also a nice little opportunity to get another key word in there, which is reciprocal inhibition. Okay, and then our final bit is the exposure bit, and that is the full procedure for systematic desensitization, and those are my six marks. Okay, so let's go to the beginning again, just quickly. So, little introduction with my first little keyword of counter conditioning, and then my three elements of systematic desensitization anxiety hierarchy relaxation techniques and exposure okay reciprocal inhibition is my other keyword that i'm going to put in there and that should be plenty okay there are other things that you could mention you could talk about things like it's based on classical conditioning and all of that kind of stuff if you want that's fine if you've put that in 
Um, obviously, the more keywords, the better. But if you've got something like I've written here, then you should be absolutely fine and you should be well on track for those six marks. OK. And that is question number 18. I'll see you in the next video for the last question and also the last essay of this paper. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you in the next one.